welcome to Saturday Morning Yoga with me, Jamie. It's time to gather a little gang there at home together and enjoy your family yoga time. Now we're headed to the mountains today to meet a very busy animal. She is all about doing things for her community and making good things happen for all those around her and working as a team. Her dedication is inspiring. So, chop chop, let's not dawdle and let's go enjoy our yoga adventure. Hello everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms and crossing our legs. And we bring our hands together at our hearts and say our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to begin. So, let's find out what our story's about today. We look through the cosmonoculars. Bringing your thumbs and fingers together, hold them over your eyes and have a look through. <gasps> wow. Look at those shapes and those colours. That's amazing. It's so pretty. Now, can you see that? Can you see the picture? It's a beaver. It's Babs the beaver. What's Babs doing? Ooh, she's doing yoga. She's doing door pose. This is so exciting. We're going to the mountains today to go and visit Babs. Let's start by making ourselves a sandwich for a snack. We take our legs out long and we butter our bread. Ready? Hands to your waist. Let's go. Butter, butter, butter. Butter, butter, butter. A bit more. Butter, butter, butter. Tiny bit more. Butter, butter, butter. That's probably enough butter now. Take your arms out wide. Let's put some things in our sandwich that Babs will like. We twist around and we get some seeds. Mm. Get the seeds and shake them in. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them. Take your arms out wide again and twist the other way. And let's get some berries. Mmm, we love berries. We take the berries and plop them in. Plop, 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 plop. We lift up our arms and bending our knees a little bit, we put our top slice of bread on our sandwich. Ooh, done. We cross our legs and we roll our shoulders to get ready for our backpack. Roll your shoulders round and round. Lift them up and put them down. Lift up one, lift up two. Put down one, put down two. Going up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. Faster, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Well done, everyone. Now, we should bring the sunshine out, shouldn't we? So we stand up, we reach up to the sun, and we say to the sun, Hello, sun! We fold all the way forwards, and we say hello to the earth. Hello, earth! We take one foot back behind us, all the way back, and we start our logging truck with a beep, beep. We take our other leg back and come onto our tummies and wiggle around like a hissy snake. Ready? We tuck our toes, lift our bottoms to the sky and do a happy woof. Woof, 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 woof. We reach our tail to the air and wag it around. And we step between our hands again, making our beep beep again. Beep, beep. We step forward again. Whoop, and we say hello to the earth. Hello, Earth. And we reach up to the sun to say, Hello, sun. We catch a train, bringing your arms down by your sides. We pull the horn. Toot, toot. Then off we go. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack. 
Here we go around the track. Clickety clack, clickety clack. Here we go around the track. Faster and faster and faster we go. Faster and faster and faster we go. Clickety clack, clickety clack. Here we go around the track. Faster and faster and faster we go. Until we're going very slow. Pull the horn. Toot, toot. We've arrived at the mountains. Mountain pose. Taking your arms down by your sides, we stand as still and immovable as mountains. They are so strong, so beautiful. Well done, everyone. You're amazing, mountains. We take some big mountain breaths, crisscrossing our fingers underneath our chin. We take a big breath all the way in. Big breath out. Now we snowboard down this mountain to go and find Babs. We take one foot back forwards and one foot backwards and we bend our knee. We extend our arms and we whoosh down the mountain. Ready? Whoosh! We jump our feet the other way. Boing! And we whoosh the other way too. Whoosh! At the bottom of the mountain, we find a river and there's a little boat waiting for us. Sitting on our bottoms, we lift up one foot, two feet, one hand, no hands, and give me a wave. Yay! We row this little boat down the river. Take your legs out long, hold onto your oar, and let's sing our little row, row, row your boat. Row, row, row the boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Ring, 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 ring. That's the phone. Let's answer the phone, everyone. Holding your phone to your ear. Hello? It's Babs the Beaver. Hi, Babs. Yeah? No, we're coming soon. You're building a playground. We love playgrounds. Yep, we're good workers. We're good workers, aren't we, everyone? Yes. Yep, we'll be ready to work hard. Yep, see you in a minute. Bye! We put the phone down. <gasps> this is exciting. We're going to help Babs build a playground. We'd better get there quick. Let's row with the other oar. Ready? Row, row, row the boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Ring, 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 ring. That's the phone again. Let's answer this one. Hello? Babs again. Sorry, Babs. A slide. Yes, we'd love to help you build a slide. We'll be there in a minute. Yep. Bye. We put the phone down and we reach the banks of the river where Babs is waiting for us. Yay! Coming up onto your knees, everyone. We open our arms and give her a great big hug. Oh, Babs, it's so good to see you. Well, it's very good to see you, but we need to get up the mountain very, very fast because I need to get some trees to make our slide. Come on, chop, chop, hip, hip. We stand up and we take big steps up the mountain with Babs. We step forward, big step. And again, big step. And up the mountain, we find woodland, which is full of trees, standing with one foot on top of the other. We bring our hands to our heart. We grow our tree up tall. Now Babs needs to make sure that she picks the sturdiest tree. So I'm going to do a tree test. I'm going to check whether I can blow you trees down. You stay tall and strong and I'll have a go. Ready? Doopy doopy doo. <laughs> oh, you are really strong trees today. Let's try the other side. Putting your other foot on top now, using your heel, bring your hands together at your heart and grow your tree up tall. Oh, try not to wobble. Oh, 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 oh. Babs has chosen the tree and she needs to chop it down. Take your legs wide and crisscross your fingers behind your back. She folds all the way forward and chops. One, two, three, chop! And all the way back up again and again. One, two, three, Chop! Standing up tall, everyone. 
the tree falls down. Timber! Babs has done it. Now, everyone, we need to carry this tree on our heads all the way back down the bottom of the mountain. Here we go. On your head, let's go. Trotting down the mountain. Wow, Babs is a strong beaver. She is determined. She's going to make this slide very, very nicely. But there are lots of rocks and boulders in the way, and she uses her big, blunt nose to boff them out of the way. Coming all the way down onto your knees, sit all the way back, reach your arms forward. Then using your big, blunt nose, she goes boff and back and again boff and back. Last time, boff and back to boff all of those boulders out of the way. Well done, Babs. When she gets down to the bottom of the mountain, she uses her big teeth to nibble out the middle. Coming onto all fours, bending down. She makes it into a slide shape. Then she uses her big webbed feet, sitting on your bottoms. Stretch your feet out. And she uses those big feet to scoop the snow into the slide to make it super duper slippy. It's nearly ready. It's taking its slide shape. Stretching your legs out long. Take your hands behind you and point your toes. Then lift your hips all the way up, making a slide shape. Yay! Babs needs to put it in the water now to make it into a water slide. Coming onto your bellies, everyone. She swims with her head above the water and she checks that it's all in place using her paddle tail to swim. Very clever. It's ready for a test. Shall we try? Yes? Come on, then. We stand up and we climb to get really high. Up we go, up we go, up we, up we, up we go. Oh, it's really high up here. Now, how are we going to get down this slide? Hmm. Shall we go down on our tummies? No, too scary. How about on our heads? No, that's a silly idea, isn't it? Yeah, let's go on our bottoms. We sit down, put our legs out long and our arms out and we go down the slide. Ready? Whee! <laughs> wow, that was fun. Now all of the other little animals come to have a go. There's such a big community of them. There's Motty, the fish. Stretching your legs out long, come down onto your elbows and pop, pop, pop your chest to the sky, looking up to the ceiling and all the way back behind you, like a fish. Motty, the fish, goes down the slide. Whee! Splidoosh! He loves the water slide. Then comes up, down the rabbit. Hopping away up the ladder. Hands down, tuck your toes and a little hop. Hoppity hoppity hop. And again, hoppity hoppity hop. Last time, hoppity hoppity hop. Up down goes down like a little tumbly bunny. Hugging your knees, tuck your chin in and squash a tomato underneath your chin. All the way back. And all the way forwards. Whee! And again, all the way back. Whee! All the way forwards and splodooshes into the water. Next comes Clive, the river crab. He does a couple of digger diggers just to get himself ready. Coming all the way up with your hips. Let's go that way first, ready? Digger, 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 digger. And the other way, digger, 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 digger. Then he gets himself into position, holding on to his claws. Lying back, he holds on to one, he holds on to two, and down he goes. Whee! Splodoosh! All of these animals are having such fun. But uh-oh, there are lots of other scary animals that seem to have spotted them and think, hmm, I'd quite like to eat one of those for my lunch. A crocodile slips into the water. Slinky and long, opening and closing his jaws. Oh, 
a mountain lion comes prowling through the forest. Coming up onto all fours, everyone. Reach forward with one claw. Two claws. Three claws. And four claws. Now, can you do a forward and a backwards claw? Yes. He does a big growl and shows everyone his tongue. Ready? Lion pose after three. One, two, three. <sighs> and then there's a big bad wolf prowling too. Hands down, tuck your toes and come up into a dog-like shape like a wolf licking his lips. Mmm. Perhaps the beaver sees the danger and knows that she needs to warn the little animals to hide. She slips into the water and she uses her paddle tail to whap down on the surface of the water, making the hugest bang. One, two, three, bang! All of the animals hear the sound and know they need to hide. They tuck themselves up into tiny little mouse balls. The big animals have no idea what that noise was and are terrified. So they scarper. <laughs> Phew! Thank goodness for Babs. We all go back to Babs's lodge, standing up, legs wide, arms above your head, and we eat our sandwich and have a lovely cup of hot chocolate. We sit down and we rub a hand on our tummies and we pat our heads at the same time. Mmm, it's nice to feel all safe and warm again. And it was such fun on the slide. We get a lift home with a logging truck. We sit with our legs out long and start the engine. We lie back in our logging truck and let the logging man drive for a while. We have a nice bit of time just to relax, to get all comfy and cosy on our journey home. We think about our fantastic adventure with Babs the Beaver, how strong and determined she is. We can do anything we like. And if we put our minds to it, and we are strong and determined like Babs is, we will always do a good job. It's so inspiring to meet someone like Babs, who does such amazing things for her community. That's so lovely of her to have built a playground for everyone else to enjoy. Well done, Babs. We love you. We take some slow breaths here. Just relaxing and enjoying this peace. That mountain air has made us really sleepy. But it's time for us to come back again. So we wiggle our fingers and our toes. We hug our knees into our chest and roll over onto our sides. Ah, oh, we come up to sitting with our legs crossed and bring our hands together at our hearts. And we finish just the way we started with our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. Well done for being such a good worker, so determined and strong, just like Babs. I hope you come back soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye-bye. That was fantastic. Well done, you. Now we have a Zen Den called Superpower Listening. This is where we're going to play a little game. You're going to hear lots of sounds and see if you can identify what's making those sounds using your superpower listening skills. Let's go. 
Everyone. Welcome to the Cosmic Kids Zen Den, your place to feel all calm and relaxed and to help our minds stay healthy and happy. First, let's get comfy. Sitting on our bottoms with our legs crossed, we take two nice deep breaths in through our nose and out through our mouth. And again, in through our nose and out through our mouth. <sighs> hmm. Now let's get the Zen Den ready so we can really enjoy it. Let's fill it with colour. Wow, lots of great colours to choose from. Let's pick one that helps us feel all lovely and calm. Hmm. This lovely blue looks good. Let's have that. And what about another colour? Shall we have one more? OK, let's add this sunny yellow colour. That's it. Now for the smell. Ooh, these look interesting. Pineapple smell. Ooh. Pizza smell. Mmm. Ah, yes. Let's smell the lemon. Mmm. Lemon is a good bright smell and helps us concentrate. Now, here's a question for you. On a scale of 1 to 10, how good do you think you are at listening? With 1 not being very good and 10 being the best in the world. OK, so lots of you reckon you're pretty good, some not so much, and some are the masters of listening. Well, if you're that good, maybe you're really Spider-Man. Have you heard about spidey senses? Hmm? Well, let's now play a special game to see how good we are at listening and how strong our spidey senses are. It's time to activate our listening. So, keep your hands resting on your knees. Make your back long and strong so you are switched on and ready. Now listen for when you hear the bell. The sound will then fade until it's gone. I want to see how long you can hear the sound of the bell ringing. And when you can't hear it any longer, move your hands from your knees into your lap. Then I'll be able to see how long you could hear the bell and how good your listening was. Ready? Let's take our hands onto our knees. And if you want, you can also close your eyes so you're totally focused on your listening. So, here comes the sound of the bell. Well, that was a good start. You're already showing how good you are at listening. Let's try it again. Ready? Hands back to knees. Cool, that was even better than the first time. Great listening, everyone. Let's do one more, one last time, to see if we can stretch those spidey senses a little more and do our best listening yet. Ready? Hands to knees, and here we go. Wow, that 
was the best one. Now you've proven just how great your listening skills can be. Your spider sense is activated. Next time you are trying to learn something from the teacher or someone is telling you something, see if you can activate your listening as well as you did just now in our game and notice how much more you can hear. Well done, you. Remember, you can always play this Send End video again if you want to have another go. Keep up the practice until you become a true Cosmic Kids Zen Den Master. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye! You were great! Well done, you! Now we have some yoga poses in the Yoga Pose universe for you to learn. It's great to become a master of these poses because when you come to do the adventures, you'll be amazing. I hope you love it. The Cosmic Kids Yoga Pose Universe. digging pose. Taking our feet nice and wide, we crisscross our fingers behind our back and stretch our arms. Now we fold forwards after three and dig. Here we go. One, two, three, dig. And up. And again. One, two, three, dig. And up again. Now, digging pose is very good for stretching our chest, our shoulders and the backs of our legs. Let's do one more. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Dig! And up. We better stop there. It's getting rather deep, that hole. If we're not careful, we'll end up in Australia. Oh, hello. Digging pose. The Cosmic Kids Yoga Pose Universe. Oh. Oh. Tree Pose. Standing nice and tall, we bring one foot on top of the other using our heel. Our knee turns out to the side. We bring our hands together at our hearts and we grow our branches up nice and tall, stretching as high as we can. Wow, well done everyone. Now tree pose is really good for stretching our sides, practicing our balance and for strengthening our back and our legs. Well done. Now let's see if we can do it on the other side. Lowering our arms all the way down, we switch our feet so the other heel's on top. We bring our hands together, we grow our arms up, our branches nice and tall. Now I wonder how strong you trees are. I'm going to do the tree test. You stay tall and strong and I'm going to come and blow you down. Let's see, here we go. Doopy doopy doo doo. <sighs> Strong trees, you're amazing, just as strong as real trees. Oh, whoops a daisy. Oh, even the real trees have to practice sometimes. Tree pose. Yoga Pose Universe. Bowl Pose. Coming to lie down on our tummies. We bring one foot towards our bottom and we reach round to find our ankle. Yes. Then we bring our other foot towards our bottom and we reach round and find that ankle too. Now this pose can be a bit of a struggle, but we can always help ourselves with that struggle by using our breathing and how we think. So I like to imagine that it's my birthday when I'm doing this pose and someone has given me the most beautiful bunch of flowers. Oh, thank you. How nice is that? So we kick into our hands, we start to lift and we breathe in and smile the lovely fresh scent of the flowers. 
Ah, when we lift up really high. This pose is very good for stretching the whole front of our bodies, our shoulders and chest, and for giving us lovely strong muscles in our back. Ah, oh, thank you. That's really nice. Ball pose. Well done, that was great. Now we have a lovely Peace Out for you. Peace Out is our guided relaxation series and it really helps your brain and your body totally calm and chill out. It's very, very good for you and I hope you feel wonderful afterwards. Peace Out. Rainbow Waterfall Hello, Jamie here. Welcome to Peace Out. Your place to feel cosmically calm and ready for anything. To make your Peace Out work brilliantly, it's important that you feel super comfortable. So, let's do that now. Find yourself a spot. You can lie on your back, or your front, or your side, or just sit. You decide. Find what feels good, and then get settled. Do any last fidgets or wriggles. That's it. Just so you feel happy to be still for a few minutes. That's all it is. Just a few magic minutes and your body and brain will be a bit stronger. If you do a few minutes every day, you'll soon start to notice how much happier and stronger you feel. Maybe try it for a few days and see for yourself. I really like it. Let's get ready to open the special door in our mind so we can go on a fun journey. Start with your eyes open and take some big deep breaths. In through your nose and out through your mouth. In through your nose and out through your mouth. That's it. And the next time you breathe out, let your eyes softly close. Well done. Now, make sure your body is as floppy as can be. Your arms and legs so heavy that if I pick them up, they would feel like cooked spaghetti. That's super floppy. Now you're as floppy as can be and your eyes are closed. Listen to the words and follow the journey, letting the pictures appear in your mind. And if you can't see anything in your mind right away, don't worry. Just be peaceful, breathe, keep listening, and after a while they will start to appear. Now we begin. You are standing in a forest. Everywhere you look, you see trees. Tall and sturdy brown tree trunks with branches covered in bushy green leaves. The sunlight peeps through the leaves of the trees, making it look so magical. 
you hear rustling and see a little squirrel busy looking for something in the fallen leaves on the ground. Maybe she is making a nest or looking for food, you think. She finds whatever she was looking for and darts up one of the huge tree trunks, running up the tree bark to her home in the trees. You carry on following the path that winds through the forest. It leads you to the side of a little stream. The water trickles along bubbling and babbling over the pebbles. Where is it going, you wonder? You keep following alongside it on the path, and the water flows even faster. Now you see where it's going. You hear it too. It whooshes over a big rock making the most beautiful waterfall, which lands in a pool below. You climb down the side of the waterfall and sneak in behind the falling water to stand on a flat rock right behind it. Here you see the sunshine meet the waterfall and make an amazing rainbow right before your eyes. You take a breath and step forward into the waterfall and you feel the rainbow wash over your body. The water feels fresh and cool and the colours, oh, the colours, they bring a magical warmth. You feel each colour run through you. Each one feels different. Notice how they feel in your body now. First, the red. Then orange. Now the yellow. and the green. Blue. Indigo. And lastly, violet. All the colors. You feel them all as they wash and flow through you. Your body feels lighter and sparkles as your worries disappear. Now you step back from the rainbow waterfall, feeling peaceful and clear. You're all dry too. It's magic. You smile. And remember how the colours made the different feelings inside you. It's good to notice your feelings. And also see where they come from. Your time here at the Rainbow Waterfall has helped you learn a bit more about your feelings. And maybe even notice where in your body you felt them. It's time to return back again. Just notice your body right now. How it feels where you are lying or sitting. Where it touches the floor or the chair beneath you. See if you can hear any sounds around you. Take a big breath in and sigh out of your mouth. 
and gently open your eyes. As you begin to move, have a nice big stretch and just sit back for a moment. Ah, how is that? After your time doing peace out, maybe you feel a little different to how you did before. Possibly calmer, maybe even a little tired. Well done. Be pleased with yourself for taking this time to give your body and mind a special treat. This is Jamie saying peace out.